Welcome to Brit Lab, and today we're asking, are deodorants bad for you? Deodorants and antiperspirants are a multi-million pound a year global industry that exists to tackle two of our most embarrassing health issues, sweat and body odour. Body odour is produced by bacteria which love to feed on the fatty oils in your sweat. And when they're broken down into acids, they produce a foul-smelling gas. Experts looking at armpit bacteria have found that some produce smellier gases than others and that men tend to have more carini bacteria than women, which are known to be particularly stinky. Now there's a surprise. Believe it or not, some people don't produce BO at all. Lucky things. East Asians and most Koreans have less or even an absence of the fatty oils that break down to create nasty body odour. This is due to a genotype called ABCC11, found more often in those of East Asian origin. Bizarrely, this genotype is also linked to earwax. What we know is that there are two basic types of earwax, dry and wet. Strangely, the one that you end up with seems to be determined by your DNA. I'm going to have a look in Ben's ears and make a prediction based on what I find there about whether or not he is likely to be smelly. Now, Ben has a small amount of soft or wet wax in his ears. I would say that unfortunately, Ben is at risk of being a very, very stinky man. Fortunately, people like Ben can turn to deodorants to help them. Deodorants don't actually stop sweating. They work either by masking the smell or because they have antimicrobials in them which kill the bacteria that cause the smell. Whereas antiperspirants actually block the ducts that produce sweat. Essentially, by stopping sweating, antiperspirants remove the food source of the bacteria, thereby starving them into submission. No sweat, no bacteria, no BO. But do either of these do us any harm? It was once thought that ingredients used in some of these products, such as aluminium and zirconium, could be contributing to breast cancer by interfering with hormone receptors in breast tissue. They've also been linked to Alzheimer's. However, the National Cancer Institute has found no link between deodorants and cancer, nor has there been any evidence of a link between antiperspirants and Alzheimer's. So that's good news. Deodorants can't harm you, but they will stop you smelling horrible. If you'd like to tell us what kind of earwax you have, or share some of your tips for battling body odour, you can do so in the comments below. And please subscribe to BritLab.